Russian officer revealed the facts of the terrible torture of Wagner Group against Russian soldiers. Lieutenant Colonel Roman Venevitin, commander of Russia's 72nd Motorized Rifle Brigade, who had previously been taken prisoner by the Wagner private military company, claimed he had been tortured by the mercenaries and detailed the regular kidnappings of Russian soldiers. According to Venevitin, tensions between the Wagner and his brigade began from the first days of their deployment to the combat zone. He said that the mercenaries from the Wagner provoked the fighters into conflict, issued death threats and stole military hardware, deeming them war trophies. Our fighters were kidnapped and were then tortured. For example, one soldier was kept in a cold cellar. Acid was sprayed in his eyes. He lost his sight for a while. They poured gasoline over him and threatened to set him on fire with a lighter. In April and May, the unit discussed an outrageous case in which one of our soldiers was beaten and severely humiliated, and he committed suicide out of despair. There were cases when fighters were kidnapped and tried to trade them for ammunition. Forced to work as warehousemen for the killed and wounded, used simply as laborers, like slaves. There were cases when my fighters were taken, forced to sign contracts with the Wagner Group, thereby weakening the flanks in Bakhmut and my defenses. These cases happened. They're documented, he said, according to Insider Edition. Venevitin also described the details of his capture by the mercenaries. How did my captivity occur? I was making a round of my units, being the commander of the brigade and the Wagner blocked my way. There was no legal or other basis for this. I wasn't going to tolerate it as a military officer. I obey my commander, the commander of the 3rd Army Corps and the group commander. As a result, the Wagner Group personnel were disarmed. It would be strange to expect otherwise, since we're in my area of responsibility, my brigade. I was then captured, held in a basement and abused. Even angry and embittered Russian soldiers wouldn't abuse Ukrainian prisoners like this. I was beaten, not allowed to sleep, dragged out of the basement three times a night. They even tried to shoot me. And after that, Yevgeny Prigozhin claims that I was detained for investigative actions. The video of my interrogation that you shared is the result of pressure and coercion. That's all.